June 8, 1998, the country awoke to the news of a dastardly act which had unfolded at the Uganda Technical College Kichwamba in Kabarole district. The Allied Democratic Forces raided the school in the dark of the night, doused the dormitories with petrol and locked them. 80 students were burnt to death and scores abducted. Sipende buwoga, unasikia, sipende kubabayika. Kya kwanza mutembe kama muko munakumbuka mnyezi mungu, manake munafanya adhikari. The specter of that dark episode continues to haunt many Ugandans now more than 16 years after the occurrence. Police have issued a terror alert, ominously warning that the ADF rebels holed up in the DRC jungles want to carry out arson attacks in schools. Intelligence sources have also revealed that the ADF has established homegrown cells in central and eastern regions to coordinate the attacks. We have to inform you that terrorism is real and it has no boundaries. It has no political affiliation. It has no religion, and that's why we have to come up and inform all Ugandans. Police claim the ADF, which preaches a radicalized Salafist brand of Islam, is working with the Al Shabaab insurgents who want to export their brand of terror beyond the Horn of Africa. Because if we have a threat from ADF, we have a threat from Al Shabaab, then we need to tighten up ourselves, we need to be more security conscious, and we need to be more alert. Police appeal to the opposition not to politicize an issue of national security. Much as they are organizing their activities, but at the back of their mind, they have to know that terrorism is real and they are planned attacks. Earlier on, the regional police commander of the Renzori region had revealed to NTV that indeed allied democratic forces had regrouped and were planning to attack the country. The ADF has been, of course, around us for some time, but of course I want to know they, they have no capacity to destabilize Uganda, that's why they are, they are not operating from Uganda. There could be pockets here and there, but they are not operating from within. It was revealed last month that the Al Shabaab was planning to carry out well orchestrated terror attacks on fuel depots and fuel transit vehicles on Ugandan soil. Now, with the Al Shabaab alleged to be working with the Allied Democratic Front, it's very hard to tell the magnitude of damage that can be caused by two terror organizations operating in the same cell. Suhail Mugavi, NTV Weekend Edition.